Welcome to video by DJS PRC. I want to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. And today we have the latest and greatest of Traxxas, the XRT. This is the newest vehicle from Traxxas. It is the 8S, 30 volts, 60 mile plus uh, miles per hour from Traxxas. Basically, it is a X Max as a Truggy. <clears throat> Just by looking at it, it looks an awesome machine. Uh, a lot of points they did. Seriously, they took the time and thought about this one. The air intakes in front in here too to jam the air inside the vehicle to cool it. No exit here, uh, but it does come out underneath the chassis here. It is an awesome machine. Uh, yeah, it is a big box. One of the first thing you're going to notice if you do get one is when you open the box, the wheels are not attached to the vehicle. Uh, they did that to be able to save some space in the box. That way they can save material too be more uh, green, let's say. But yeah, these wheels don't come pre-attached. They do give you the wrench, the 17 mil wrench to install them. But I don't think you watching this video to talk about tires, really. Let's talk about this vehicle here. Uh, like I said, it's pretty much an X-Max sat to the ground. It has the X-Max wing, the wheelie bar that comes with it. Before we take a look inside, let's flip it upside down. Even on the center brace that's different right here, you can see daylight to let the air go through it. I'm wondering if the arms is the same. I would need to check that, but it might. But underneath, it's an amazing, seriously, I'm starting to like this vehicle. Uh, it is a plastic chassis. They did not go steel uh, like this ledge. But again, I'm assuming they're reusing parts from the X-Max. From the X-Max, you don't have the clip in the back here. It's like the new, newer system, release tab here, release tab here, and same thing on the other side. Once you did that, you're able to remove the cover. And you'll see the tabs right there. And gives you a little bit more stability to the physical body itself. You do have the front skid plate, the hood skid plate, and some protection in the back here. But this is the inside of the vehicle. Uh, one of the things they did, the servo that is hidden underneath the receiver box here is the big receiver, well, receiver, big servo from Traxxas, steel gear uh, with the aluminum uh, cooling around it. it. Does have the aluminum shocks. On the motor itself, it does have the dual fan cooling. It is the VXL 8S. It's pretty much, it is the power system from uh, the X-Max. And if you look inside of it, it's pretty much look like, <laughs> it is an X-Max. Just like I said, slammed to the ground. Uh, same battery setup. I'm just not... Uh, down uh, that I kind of like and I don't like 
Because if you decide to put a bigger battery in it, this will prevent you. But I saw a lot of people basically do some channels in the chassis itself and put a Velcro strap. You could do that. Try to put a bigger battery in it. But that's something sometimes I don't suggest to do. Uh, the simple reason is, is if you do put bigger batteries and you're making the vehicle run longer, you can create more heat to it. But besides that, yeah, you could. Pretty much, I say the same shock tower. A little bit different here from compared to the X-Max, but yeah. It does have the big hubs. Steel dry shafts, basically same thing as the X-Max. The bigger hubs in the back too. Yes, it is a dual battery. It does uh, have the TSM uh, active testability enabled. I'm not sure if it comes with the uh, Bluetooth receiver. This says active TS Traxxas link. But again, I'm not sure. If you do go with the Pinion and Spur 2346, you will hit 60 miles plus. They suggest a 6700 plus on a milliamp. And there is four color to it. Now at this time of recording this video, if you're looking for one, you can't find one, go visit Great Hobbies. They have multiple in stock. At my hobby shop local right now here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, we have 15 of them in stock. You'll have some right here, and the rest is down the aisle. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that, that thumbs up. It does help the channel a lot, and I do appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe, and go check out greathobbies.com. All for your great hobbies needs in Ottawa, or in Canada, should I say. Thank you for watching.